Hi everyone, this is Professor Oaks, and in this video we are going to talk about perimeter. Alright, so in the first question we have find the perimeter of a rectangle. So the first thing that I would recommend in all of these types of problems is to draw a rectangle. So here we have a rectangle right here, and it has a length of 19.1 centimeters and a width of 24.2 centimeters. Of course, this is not drawn to scale, but I'm going to make the one that sort of looks a little bit shorter than the other one, the length, and I'll, I'll use the letter L for length and the letter W for width. So L is 19.1, and remember the abbreviation for centimeters is CM. And then this other one, I will make the the width W is 24.2 centimeters. So these are both the, the same uh, distance. So length is 19.1 centimeters and width is 24.2 centimeters. So perimeter just means to find the, the total distance all the way around a, a figure. So what I'm going to do here is just say that the perimeter is going to be just all of these numbers added together. So 19.1 plus 24.2 plus 19.1 plus 24.2. All right, so if I add these all together, what am I going to get? Well, if I add 19.1 plus 24.2 plus 19.1 plus 24.2, I'm going to get, well, 86.6. .6, and I know that the units are in centimeters. So 86.6 .6 centimeters right here. There's my answer. All right, so let's try another one. Find the perimeter of a triangle. So in these types of problems, well, I'm going to start by drawing a triangle. And one of the side lengths is one and a half meters and again this is not drawn to scale and the other one here is three and five six meters and the other one is eight and two thirds meters so the perimeter again is just the total distance around the triangle so the perimeter is going to be one and a half plus three and five six plus eight and two thirds so let's go ahead and Let's just change these to all have the uh, same denominator. So I see that here we have a 2, a 6, and a 3. So the common denominator would be 6. So I'm going to multiply this one by 3 over 3 so that it will be 1 and 3 over 6. And this one will be 3 and 5 over 6. And then this one by 2 over 2 to get 8 and 4 over 6. Then I'll add the whole numbers, 1 plus 3 plus 8. That was going to be, what is that going to be? 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 8 is 12. And then we have 3 over 6 plus 5 over 6 plus 4 over 6. Well, that is going to be 12 over 6. And 12 over 6 is 2. So then we have 12 plus 2 more is 14. And the units were in meters. So this is all going to just be... Here, a grand total of 14 meters. So that is my answer right here. What a time to be alive. All right, so let's try another example of finding the perimeter here. So when we see find the circumference of a circle, that actually just means find the perimeter of the circle or the distance around the circle. So the circumference is just the special name for the perimeter or the distance around a circle, all right? So here it is, and the radius is 18 millimeters, so M, M is millimeter, all right? So a radius is just halfway across the, the circle from the center, so here is a, a segment just representing halfway across the circle from the center, all right? And so that will be R for radius is 18 millimeters. And then it says, no, use 3.14 for pi. So pi is this number that goes on and on and on and on forever, but we're just going to use the first two digits after the decimal point. All right, so the perimeter or the uh, circumference of a circle, the formula is going to be so of a circle the
the formula is going to be 2 times pi times r, the radius, or 2 times pi times the radius. All right. So they told us that pi, they want us to use 3.14. So if they tell you to use something different from pi, you would use something different for pi. Or sometimes you would just say that the answer had a pi as part of the answer. But here they said to use 3.14. So 2 times 3.14. And then the radius was 18 millimeters. So times 18. So then if I multiply the 2 times the 3.14 times the 18, I get 113.04, and the units were in millimeters, so there's my answer, 113.04 millimeters. What a time to be alive. All right, let's look at the next one. Now, the next one, a diagram is already given here, but it does say find the perimeter of the following shape. So remember, the perimeter is just the total distance around the shape. So the perimeter of the shape will just be the sum of all the lengths of the sides of this shape here. So we have 1.8 plus 2.5 plus 4.0 plus 3.7 plus 5.8 plus 6.2. And then if I add up all of those numbers, 1.8 plus 2.5 plus 4.0 plus 3.7 plus 5.8 plus 6.2, that is going to be 24. And the units were in meters, so 24 meters. Again, the M is for, M is for meters. All right, so meters. All right, what a time to be alive. So let's go ahead and try another one here. Find the perimeter, or again, the distance around a rectangle that is, is in, in, in this time it's saying that it's 354 feet. All right, so that's saying that the total distance around is 354 feet. So now it's saying the length, and we'll call that L is, so is equal to twice its width, and we'll call the width W, so two times its width. So what I'm saying is that, well, if this is the, the width, then this is the width, and this is the length, and this is the length, and the, the length was equal to 2W, then the perimeter, right, the perimeter or the distance around is equal to well, that will be W plus 2W plus W plus 2W. All right, or W plus L plus W plus L. All right, so now that we know that the perimeter was 354 feet, so FT will be the abbreviation for feet. Then if I add all of these together and combine the like terms, W plus 2W plus W plus 2W, that's 6W. So then if I divide by 6 on each side, I can find the number of, of feet that the width is equal to. So 354 divided by 6 is 59. So 59 feet is W. So this, this is 59 feet, and this is 59 feet. But I know that the length is 2 times the width, so 59 times 2 is 100, 118, right? So this is 118 feet, and this is 118 feet. And again, if you don't believe me that this is the correct answer, you could add this up, like 59 plus 118 plus 59 plus 118. That was 354. So I knew that, right, that that was supposed to be the total uh, perimeter. So of course, then I I have to answer the question, and it wants to find the length of the rectangle. The length was twice the width, so 118 feet. Here is the answer. What a time to be alive. All right, let's try another one. Find the perimeter of a square if each side has the following length of two and a half inches. Well, a square is just really a, a rectangle with the length on each side all being the same. So two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. And then the perimeter is going to be the distance around this 
square. So two and a half plus two and a half plus two and a half plus two and a half. So two plus two plus two plus two is eight. And a half plus a half plus a half plus a eight a half is is two and eight plus two is ten or two and a half and two and a half is five and two and a half and two and a half is five and five plus five is ten. You can do it that way also. But I know that this is going to be because the original question was in inches, right? Inches. Or ten I N because I N is the abbreviation for inches that is used sometime. So there you go. There is the final answer here. All right, let's try again. So the circumference of a circle with a diameter of, of 93 millimeters. And then again, they want us to use 3.144 pi. All right, here we go then. So the perimeter or the circumference, right? The circumference of a circle is going to be well here's the formula of it remember i said 2 pi r or 2 times pi times radius before and well because the diameter right the diameter is 2 times the radius well sometimes instead of writing 2 pi r they just write pi times diameter and that would just be if we use the abbreviation D for diameter. So D is equal to 93 millimeters and MM is the abbreviation for millimeters. All right. Then this would just be pi D. Pi D. So that's another way to write the formula for the circumference of a circle. Now let me draw a circle here. So here is a diagram of a circle. And the radius is a line segment from the center to the uh, side of the, the circle. But the diameter is going from one side of a circle to the other, but straight through the center of the circle. So this will mean that the diameter D here is going to be, well, I said it was 93 millimeters. So 93, and remember, mm is for millimeters. So if I want the... The circumference, so the circumference is going to be pi d, and pi they said to use 3.14, and the d, the diameter, was 93. So then 3.14 times 93 is going to be 292.02, and remember, our original units were in millimeters, so this will be in millimeters. So 292.02 millimeters. What a time to be alive. All right, let's try another one. Find the perimeter of the triangle below. All right, so remember, the perimeter is the distance around the triangle. So here we go. This is the distance around the triangle. So they tried to fool you here by giving you the height or the altitude of the triangle, 3.1 centimeters. So remember, again, the CM stands for centimeters. So let me write that down here before we forget to write that down here. So the, the CM is for centimeters. So CM is centimeters. All right. So here we go. Remember, again, don't get tricked by the fact that they gave you the height or the altitude of the triangle, but the perimeter is just the distance around the the triangle, so 3.4 plus 3.4 plus 2.8, so 3.4 plus 3.4 plus 2.8, that is going to be 9.6, and the original units were in centimeters, so we have 9.6 centimeters. What a time to be alive. All right, let's try another one here. So a square has a perimeter of 12.5 meters. Find the length of a side of the square. So a square, all right, so remember a square has the length of all of the sides the same. So let's just say that all of the sides are equal to x. Sometimes people actually just label it s for side of a square, but I usually don't do that because if you can tell, the S sometimes looks like a five, right? So I'm just going to use X instead of S, all right? But you could use S for side of a square, but I'm just going to use X. So X, 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 X. So the perimeter 
is the distance around the square. So x plus x plus x plus x plus x. And again, you could use s plus s plus s plus s plus s, but those all kind of looks like, like fives to me, right? So then they said that the perimeter was 12.5, and I'm going to use m for meters, right? Because that's the abbreviation for meters. And then I'll combine the like terms over here. So x plus x plus x plus x is 4x. And then I can go ahead and I can divide by 4 on each side. So x is equal to 12.5 divided by 4. And that is going to be, well, all right, so that 3.125. And the original units were in meters. So that is the length of the side of one of these squares. So all these x's, that one's equal to, to 3.125. That one is equal to 3.125. That one is equal to 3.125. And this one is equal to 3.125. So all of those x's are 3.125 meters. What a time to be alive. All right, so let's try one more problem here. And this is another one on the, the circle. All right, so a circle has a circumference of 36.11 inches. So here is a circle. And the circumference or the distance around this circle is 36.11 inches. So I'm just going to use C for circumference and I in for inches. So C is 36.11 inches. And they want to know what is the diameter of this circle. So here is the diameter of the circle. It's going straight through the center of the circle. All right. And if you remember, well, one of the formulas for the circumference of the circle or the perimeter of the circle or the distance around the circle, all right, so circumference was going to be pi times diameter or pi times d because d is the letter I'm going to use to abbreviate diameter. And they say, note that, that we want to use 3.14 for pi again. So we have 3.14 times the diameter. And the, the circumference, of course, was 36.11. So all I need to do is go ahead and I'm going to divide by 3.14 on each side of this equation. So 36.11 divided by 3.14, that's going to be 11.5. So 11.5 is equal to the diameter, but the original units were in inches. So 11.5 inches is the diameter of the circle, or 11.5 in would be using the abbreviation for inches, all right? So here it is, 11.5 inches. So that's all I have for you on this section of perimeter and diameter. So remember that the perimeter of a figure is just the distance around it, and you will be okay. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you're already looking forward to the next one. Thank you and have a great day.